Hey guys, it's Serene the Healer doing a weekly read for the energy of December the 5th through the 11th. For the overall card, this week we got the Lost in Space card. And this energy actually coincides with the energy of the Human Design Gate 36. It is an energy that is connected to a cycle that goes from excitement and getting out and having experiences and going all the way back around to being bored and longing for an experience and the excitement that you've been wanting, right? And so with this part of it, it's that place of feeling like there's nothing exciting happening and wanting to... Um, seek out an experience okay so that kind of gives me the idea that it's going to be a week where something that you've been anticipating might not actually come through as soon as you wanted it to all right so when we look at the message we've got the three of pentacles reversed the four of cups reversed the queen of pentacles and the two of swords so considering the overall card, it looks like there's going to be a tendency to let that delay or that slow of momentum um, get you down and either judge yourself or be hard on yourself or just be pessimistic about the situation in general and it can hinder or block your creative force energy can block your manifestation energy and cause you to either call in stuff that you don't want to line up with experiences that you don't want to line up conversations that you won't want to line up with that sort of thing okay um there's also a strong element of taking inventory of the resources that you have at hand that you have available and making a decision in order to recover and continue on anyway, right? So just because this plan <laughs> is, you know, falling through or it's not quite um, happening in the time that you want it to, and I feel like maybe it's Amazon packages, <laughs> maybe, <laughs> you know, maybe it's something to that effect where you realize, okay, this is not going to deliver on time. Now I have to make a choice. What am I going to do instead, right? So for generators... Ooh. Generators are looking at It's like a pull to decide between your your mental energy and what you think should happen and what you think is happening and your intuitive call that's happening right now. Something that's telling you, look, we got to just you know, um, go ahead and run out to the store real quick. Or we gotta, you know, we don't have time to wait for this package. It's time to make a different choice right now. And the thing that's making you, or something that's adding extra pressure, the block in all of this, is that you, you just knew that the plan that you had initially was really going to leave a good impression. It was really going to... Um, wow and floor the people that you were putting it together for right so even looking at this like a job it's like maybe you are um, preparing a big meal for a large group and there is an ingredient that's missing uh, maybe the ham didn't get delivered in time right there's something big didn't work and so now it's up to you to decide, okay, so do we make an extra appetizer and send someone out to do sock puppets while they wait? Or do we make something else out of the ingredients that we have here? You know, um, either way, you're going to get a really dope story out of it. <laughs> and it's going to be something that goes down, you know, in the history and it affects your reputation as an amazing cook. You know, if we say with that analogy of how you adapt and how you keep rolling and keep going with it. So, um, mm, 
maybe it's not necessarily on par with what you're wanting to put on your resume, right? But it's still a positive story, a positive experience if you're able to re-evaluate what you have on hand and recover in time. All right, so for manifesting generators, ooh, so this is more like for manifesting generators, if I stick with my same analogy, it's like there was a fire in the kitchen, <laughs> a small fire, like nothing, you know, nothing huge was destroyed, but it's enough to make you feel that chaotic, oh my goodness, this is all falling apart kind of energy, and you might... In the haste of it all, in the panic of it all, in the overwhelm of it all, start to feel um, irritable and, and irritated and, and frustrated, you know, and start diverging from the real you. You start letting your emotions um, show in this work setting, right? Or something, you know, pulling you off from who you actually are. So you're the one who has planned all of this to the T, like the logistics of it, you know, the ham goes out at this time, the, you know, dinner rolls go out with the salad, you know, like just having it all planned out exactly how you want it to go. And not only is something big, some key element of it delayed, but there's actually a surprise, something that you couldn't control that pops up and happens and it, it hits you in an emotional place to where it's like, really? <laughs> seriously <laughs> I don't have time for this all right so for our manifestors oh I'm starting I'm starting to see this as a whole scenario where all three of you guys are characters in this kitchen, right? And the manifester is like the person, you're the event planner, <laughs> the coordinator. You're not actually working in the kitchen, but you're hearing about all of these, you know, tr things that are, are, are falling apart or happening. And you're feeling pressure because... You, you don't feel like you can actually deliver what was promised. There's a agreement there. There's something that um, you committed to, to do or to deliver. And with all of these delays and the, the panicking manifesting generator in the kitchen and the, you know, generator, like it's... What I'm seeing is stress on your heart space. The manifestor is in trouble of getting an auric field injury from this if they're not careful. You have to be true to yourself, stand up for your integrity, and actually go to the client in the situation. If this was a job thing, right? We're staying with the same, you know, scenario that I'm seeing. And, and be honest and open and let them know, okay, so we know we promised ham. <laughs> However, <laughs> there was a mix up, some other restaurant got the ham, whatever, you know, just be open up front and let them know, here's what we're doing instead. And for a manifester, I feel like there is an extra ego based, um, issue or or I don't want to say issue but it, it's harder for a manifester to do that show their cards and go in and be like okay here's what's going on because you have this fear that they're going to want to jump in and try to control the situation and tell you what you need to do and how you need to handle it and that kind of thing for a manifester it's more important to just recover and move on right so what i'm seeing here is the need for the manifester to be honest and go ahead and let them know you're not asking for permission to you know serve lamb instead or whatever it is you know we're doing a vegan meal there's no meats here and they didn't you know the the guy didn't the truck didn't show up right you are letting them know you're notifying them right with your your strategy letting them know okay this is what we're doing instead yeah, that's, that's dead on with manifesto strategy. In order to avoid getting this heart center injury to your auric field for 
reneging and not holding up your end of the bargain and just moving around and not saying anything and letting everybody be disappointed, letting those ripples of manifest their energy cause chaos that will then ripple back and, you know, circle back to you later. So for the projector, ooh, 26, 26. Okay, so for the projector, I'm seeing the projector as the other end of the equation. So while all three of these are in on the performance, you guys are on the coordinating, putting it all together side, the projector is on the customer side, the receiving side of this. And you're already start starting to get a distorted image of this team and what they can provide for you, what they can do. This is a tall tale card. So you're looking at this and being like, did they just straight up lie to me and say that they could bring us you know all of these courses and all of these specialized drinks and what have you and they didn't have anything prepared but um there's a need to give them the benefit of the doubt and go into this conversation with an open mind and open ears and let them tell you what's really going on and when they do you know to to evaluate and make your decision from there Instead of going into the situation, the, the conversation, the meeting with a preconceived notion that these people are trying to get over on you. All right. And then we have, I'm loving how this is going. Yes. And the reflectors did not disappoint. Reflectors, um, there's an overall, as an overall message, the reason why there's so much tension around this table, there's so much tension in this agreement is because everybody is expecting perfection and it's not possible. This message is a warning about not allowing something that you can't control to completely tank everything, take your mood, your integrity, your, your bag, your coins, all of it with it, okay? You have to know when to cut your losses and switch it up, okay? So the best, the key element, to take this from somebody who is a carrier of that perfection, gate 18 energy, the key to recovering from a situation where something has, critical has gone wrong is recognizing it early and starting to make that plan to pivot, Okay. Okay, so we planned a dinner around this ham. The ham's not here. Now what are we going to do? Are we going to allow this whole table worth of people to go, you know, get hangry and, you know, stage a coup against us? Or are we going to find something that we can throw together in this kitchen that's going to floor them and be amazing? And, you know, they'll go away talking about that and not how we didn't have a ham. All right. Oh, I love this so much. I love how all of these different design types came together as players in this one story. Again, this does not necessarily have to be a work situation. This could be a family life situation. This could be a relationship situation. However it plays out for you, I would love to hear about it. Hit me up on the network in the DMs if you are a member of the sanctuary. If not, you can always drop me some hearts. Somebody dropped me hearts last time. And I appreciated them. I knew exactly what it meant. And I look forward to seeing you back here again next time. Bye now.